Greetings, Deja Bliss. I want to talk about that space, y'all, between the old reality and the new one. So a lot of people are in this place right now where they had the wake up call in whatever area of their life, myself included. There was an assessment of what maybe needed to change. So some choices were likely made, but everything's not in full swing yet in the new reality. There's just been some alterations and they're still happening. There's still some choices being made. We're still in that sort of window. And some of them are reflective. They're thinking about the old reality. Like, did I make a right choice here? This is the way I'm going. Does this feel good? Like feeling how things are dropping into play. And some envisioning and imaginings about the new future, a new reality that you're constructing and calling in. But everything hasn't fully dropped in there either. You just know you've called it in. It's heading in that direction. You, you're in the space between. And this is sort of also a cultural thing, a world thing, where we're not even fully in between on the bigger picture, but in our personal lives, we might feel so. But in that in between, while there's deconstructing and while there's new ideas coming in, it's sort of like an unknown space, right? It's not fully the new and it's not any more the old. So it's, it's that place in between. And I actually have a, a book I'm, I'm trying to finish about this place in between. What do we do here? What does this place in between look like? And what is it for? And that place in between, which can span years in our culture as well, but it can also just be a, a, you know, a short period of time where we're assessing and we're, we actually aren't even really in our heads that much. We're just allowing ourselves to get comfortable with the unknown for a minute and to trust that there's stuff under the surface, there's stuff that's been seeded that is going to show eventually. It's just not fully ready to show yet. So we haven't really in our culture spoken about this place, you know, except maybe in terms of mourning or grief or loss. And yet it's a very normal in between time, right? Even when you're flying somewhere, you're often stopped at an airport in between and you're not fully to your destination yet, but you're also not home anymore. You're just kind of in the in between. And you know, like we do random things in that time to pass the time. That's sort of the time we're in now, just in reality. A lot of a lot of us in a lot of areas of our lives is we're just kind of settling in while the new reality starts to take shape. And we're still feeding that. We're still looking at that. But we also know that we're not really going back to the old. If anything from the old is coming, it's also evolving. So in this place, I highly encourage to just do some art. Do some music, write, sleep, journal, dance, get out in nature, just really get into the now, into your body, embody, because those new frequencies are coming in from your new reality and the old ones are dropping out and there's so much associated with the old reality, it's like an echo of patterns and you might kind of see it glitch in your reality as you're deconstructing. And we're, what we're doing is we're racinating. This is me and my kids' word of the day yesterday. We're in a racination. That means we're getting back to the root. We're going back to the root in ourself and in our culture and humanity and our soul. And we're doing this process automatically, almost like everything's pulling back into itself. So where we've spread out and where we've given away power and where we've divvied out life force energy and essence we are in a sense pulling back in right now to experience again this oneness this love this one life this closeness this humanity that we've all been striving for there is a natural progression if you will toward that in this ascension process this is just like that in breath again where everything's being pulled back in and that which is not yours cannot go back in, cannot be pulled to you. We are claiming and what is naturally ours is going to come toward us. So for me, that was literally like 
bringing a kid home that was going to be going elsewhere. You know, we, could, we find what is ours, our loved ones, what is our work, what is, what is the things that stick and we're pulling them near to us. And those things which aren't are going to peel off or falling away. So it's a good time to get quiet, give each other body work, get yourself some body work, do some meditation, you know, assessing your belongings also maybe, seeing what things want to stay and what things want to go. And properly declare your heart if you have it, if that's something you want to claim. It's time to claim, claim your realm. Claim your inheritance, your divine inheritance. And sometimes you have to claim it and then patiently wait for it to be given you. Okay, thank you for tuning in again. Enjoy this space in between. There's much here for you if you will open yourself to it. And don't try to be in such a hurry to get to the next reality. It's definitely on its way.